Dang, that's bananas. That looks awesome. <laughs> We got some pretty cool prints that we're working on today. Mario is currently renting out one of the screens over there. Perfection. We've got everything set up on press. We were having an issue with this gray screen here. Part of the font up at the top did not rinse out. So we're having to do, yeah, it looked like doo-doo. We weren't gonna run it, so we had to fix that. I'll show you what the print looks like. Here's one of the first test prints. We're just kind of going around, going through the routine of setting everything up, running off some test prints on some rag shirts here. It's looking pretty good. We did have to bump the registration just a little bit. Nothing too serious, and we were noticing there was a spot here in this R, a couple of them. What we're working with is a white base. We're flashing it, then we're hitting it with black, hitting it with red, a golden yellow. And then we have a kind of simulated process purple here, turquoise, gray, and then we're topping it off with the white. This is a pretty good size print. It's 15 inches wide by 17 inches high. So we're just about maxing out our largest print size on the press. I think it's a pretty cool design. It's going on these kind of light yellow, pale yellow t-shirts. They're really nice. I've got ink on me, so I don't want to fuss with it too much. I don't even know what brand they are. All it has is a tag on it that says what size they are. They came in some poly bags, which I have tossed out, but they feel really nice. These are for an organic coffee shop. So once this screen finishes drying, we'll toss that screen on, do a couple more test prints, tape off our registration marks, and we'll show you everything in action. And before I forget, every single one of these screens are a 230 with the exception of the gray. I thought that even though we're redoing this gray, we'll go ahead and use a 305 just so it's putting down a little bit less of that gray into the font so that way that font kind of pops just a little more even though it's supposed to be kind of like a 50s 60s vintage kind of ad looking thing but i think that will help some instead of having to go back and separate things you can you can kind of tweak things with the amount of pressure that your press is putting down or if you're printing manually how much you're putting down onto that squeegee how much pressure you're, you're putting down that changes things a lot too along with your mesh count and, and other little things like that paulo's out here just chilling in the sun it's a really nice day today we finally have ourselves some nice weather. It's about 75 degrees outside. Not too humid. Watch those AC guys are gonna come. Michelle's car is parked in front of their loading door. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I said please don't film me. I'm not. I'm filming your computer screen. Watching it stall. Stop, I meant that. I don't pick on you. Yes, you do. I don't. Stop, see? I don't know what you're talking about. Please. Oh yeah, there's a little hole in the screen that Mario's fixing. So he's take, taking down the screen. We're gonna toss it in, register this bad boy up, and print ourselves some t-shirts. Make some money. Yeah, exactly. That's what we're here for, to make some Shit. dinero. To make some dinero. What? You're not here to be my friend? I thought you were my friend. That's, Apollo's your friend. That's disappointing. No, Apollo's your friend. You bring him treats every morning. <laughs> so we're just letting the shirt go around, printing everything. And then this is where Mar Mario. Mario stops it. We'll send it back over to 
Yeah, leave a message. Mario's not here. Is it number eight or seven? Eight. eight. Okay. Yeah, I'm not a fan of those registration marks. I'm, I'm used to the other ones. Because then you're at opposite ends of the corner. Yep. So I had to go to Wayne's shop yesterday. I had it all separated. Thought he had, but Wayne is Orange Star, but thought he had Photoshop Illustrator. Did not. So I essentially had to reset this one out in Separation Studio, which isn't a big deal, but I'm just not used to these registration marks that it puts on it. I'm not a fan of it because it's just the diagonal corners. However, it'll get the job done. Looks better. All right, let's. All right, the safety bar. And then we'll turn these back on. Do ourselves a little bit of a test print. Just as soon as I table that down. You're the expert. I had head number nine open. All right, let's just hit play. White. And we'll see what we got. Also I'm sure it'll bed. be a little bit lighter. Since, uh, the, well, that and it didn't have anything building up on the bottom. Yeah. I look at it and it was like that. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it looks good. The. I'm not going to fuss with that. That's not too big of a deal. I mean, we could move this over just a hair, but I think it, it looks fine. That's being really fussy about it. And then, I guess we can just move the, the white base down because it's peeking out just a little bit. What do you think, Mario? I think it's the red. You think it's the red? I think it's the white. Because when I printed on the palette, I think it probably stretched that screen a little bit. Probably. See, I screw up too. Look at that. Look printed right on the palette. So, what did we decide? We're moving the white down? The white base? Alright. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna do Sounds like a wiener. Sounds like a wiener. Wiener. Move it down just a touch. I'm gonna move it down just a touch. Still going? Touch too much. No. I want to ask if you to wear the mask because of the allergies. You're wearing the mask because of the allergies? You're wearing the mask because you're doing the right thing, Mario. So our white went down. We're hitting that twice. Flashing it. It's probably about 235 for about three seconds. Until the palette reaches that temperature. We're hitting the black twice just to make sure some of that black text just kind of really fills in the knit of the t-shirt. I'm sure we could get away with just doing it once. If we didn't have that black text, I probably would just hit it once. Probably increase the flood speed on it. So we're doing the red once. We're gonna do the red, or excuse me, the golden yellow once as well. And then we're doing the purple twice just to really kind of pump up that text over here and there is some of that purple in the sleeve of this chimpanzee here so we're hitting that down twice we got turquoise this essentially is kind of going in the coffee pot there and some other little areas and then we have our gray going down which we switched to a 305 or 230 would have done just fine, but we're just trying to reduce the amount of gray that's going down. Got our white hit once on a 230, and there we are. Moved the white down a little too far, overshot it. So we're gonna adjust that, and then we'll be right back. I think we'll just tape off these registration marks and we'll get it after. Mario is taping off the last screen. I think we're gonna run off one more print. What do you think? Should we just run off one of the shirts, Mario? Let's do it. Yeah. We're gonna do it. So let's run off one of the actual production shirts, see how it comes out. That's a good size print right there. So 
So I set it up towards where it should just be three. Just let the collar drop off. Should be, should be good to go. We're gonna let this thing run around. Ooh, slowed down, down a little too much. I think we decided just to do the white once. Which we could probably reduce the flash temp. That's just because we uh, apparently it's a 195, 196 we're using on the under base. Thought it was a 230. Let's speed this up just a hair. Still doing double stroke on the black. Once on the red. These are 230s. Got our golden yellow going down. Our purple, we're still doing twice. We'll see if we corrected some of the evenness of it. And this isn't a very large order, it's about 36 of them. Originally quoted it for five colors. They wanted CMYK, kind of insisted it, but. This will be a much more consistent print using this method here. Our gray is going down. Last but not least, our white. I want to slow that down just a little bit. Now let's see if we missed anything. Dang! That's bananas. That looks awesome. <laughs> He wants some more beef jerky. We got the press warming up. Mario's tossing down some pallet jacks. As soon as the machine stops, all the pallets are warmed up. We're gonna go ahead and get after this. Thanks for tuning in guys. That's about it. We're gonna wrap up these last, I don't know, 15, 20 shirts. We appreciate you for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment below. If there's any requests you would like to see as far as screen printing tutorials, let us know. Let us know down below. <laughs> Isn't that right, Mario? Until next time, we'll see you guys later. This is <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.